Hey guys, welcome back to Red Match 1970 today on this beautiful day on the Gold Coast. Heading out for a little bit of fun on the Kawasaki Z125 Pro. Hope you enjoy. Kawasaki Z125 Pro bought it in December 2016 it is a limited edition KRT um, edition which basically means it's got a sticker kit from the Kawasaki racing team um, other than that it's exactly the same as any other Z125 Pro that you'd buy from the shop um, I've put a heap of modifications on the bike we'll run through those ones um, and then we'll go out for a bit of a ride hopefully the video comes across at how much fun these bikes really are to ride um, I've been riding for about 30 years now, uh, everything from big bikes to mid-sized bikes and um, these little bikes, they're, they're just a world into their own, they're just so much fun, absolute joy to ride, so we'll go for a bit of a burn and hopefully that comes across as to how much fun this bike really is to ride. Alright, we'll go from there. Starting on the top of the bike, um, I replaced the handlebars, uh, brake and clutch levers and also the side view mirrors. Oh, the rear view mirrors I should say. The handlebars are Area 22s um, and they're a slightly lower and wider and fatter handlebar than the standard ones. The standard ones really make you like sit up upright and like an upright dog begging for a biscuit sort of thing. So um, they were comfortable but um, I just wanted something a little more sporty so come in a really nice finished gold anodized fleck through the handlebars there so um, I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, the levers are just a no-name lever brand, um, they're adjustable so you can adjust the, um, the lever uh, as to where it's going to engage and things like that. Um, then we also at the front I replaced the uh, front and rear brake lines with these Kevlar brake lines for a little bit more better performance. Um, they don't swell like the, the standard rubber brake lines do. I mean they're reinforced as well, steel lines, but these ones have got less swelling in them, more feel at the brake lever um, when, you, when you apply the brakes. Did a little bit of plastic dip paint as well on the front of the guard here. Um, this was all green, the whole mud guard, and I thought no, I want to break that up a little bit, so I taped it up, used some plastic dip and painted that up there. Um, now uh, the next bit I did, as you can see I've sticker bombed it, but uh, the other modifi modification I made was I bought this little clutch cover guard, and the clutch is here but that's what they call it on eBay anyway, purchased that, just a simple screw on, in through there, there and then the long bolt runs through there, um, an aftermarket oil dipstick, uh, aftermarket rear set foot pegs which are adjustable, so you can adjust the where your foot goes here, your tip of your toe to apply the brake as to the size of your foot and also you can adjust the height of the foot pegs if they're forward, back, up or down there as well which is pretty handy. Um, so it just makes it a little bit more user friendly, a little sportier too because the original pegs just seem to sit a little bit too low and yeah I wasn't real happy with that, I want to turn this into a bit more of a bit of a sporty type thing. Um, replace the exhaust pipe with this aftermarket uh, exhaust unit that I bought from Singapore on eBay. I think I paid about 169 bucks for that. Um, you can certainly buy Yoshimura and certain other name, name brand pipes for five, six hundred dollars plus delivery from overseas, but considering that the bike only costs four grand right away brand new, I thought, yeah, no, I'm not spending that sort of money. Um, I installed an aftermarket seat for it as well this one's actually stitched with green stitching aftermarket it's a lot lower a lot slimmer a lot more um, in line with the rest of the bike 
original seat certainly sits a lot higher than that. Did a little bit of plastic de painting on the back here of the, um, the rear wheel guard. Uh, I ins also installed some swing arm spools. Um, also did a fender illuminator kit here. There's a, usually a really big, long, fat fender that comes down through the back here. Looks absolutely bloody horrible. That's got a little LED night light underneath there to shine down. And that comes through there. It's tilted a bit like that, like so. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah. So here's the left-hand side foot pegs, anyways. So once again, all adjustable. You can even adjust the pin location here for the linkage actuator for your gears there um, put on an aftermarket front sprocket cover purely for cosmetic reasons nothing really exciting there I do have a breather filter here this pipe this is the engine breather um, there's a pipe that usually runs from here up through into the airbox now I deleted the airbox when I did a cold air intake on it and um, so I just put the breather pipe on there for now and um, I'll reroute that to the, um, the inlet tube eventually, I'll get there. Uh, replace the breather fuel line and overflow line for the fuel tank as well. Um, I installed these new cam covers up there and there, and also one for the exhaust valve. Um, and also put in a quick release fuel cap, um, anodized green as well. So when I upgraded the um, exhaust and the air intake, I found it to be running a little bit lean. Um, you could hear it pop and crackle and it just wasn't running quite right. So I bought a Bazaz fuel injection tuning controller. Um, it came preloaded with a base map for an exhaust and air intake. So I haven't dynoed or tuned it or anything like that. I've just used the base tune and um, seems to work really well. set up some cameras on the bike and uh, we'll go for a ride. Let's go.
Well, pretty much just use this bike to run around on the island with, run some errands, have a shitload of fun with it, and um, tinker with it. Really, put on my modifications on on the inner web. Mustang with the black roof. Where's the GT? Yep, 5.0. It's the one. Nice one. We'll get aftermarket pipes on it too. guys, my Kawasaki Z125 Pro. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it shows just how much fun this bike really is. If you liked the video, if you did, give it a good old thumbs up for me. Much appreciated. And um, also hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell for more content coming up on Red Match 1970. You guys have a fantastic day and um, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers. See ya.